Hi, it's Guy DiMartino. I am a Northwest Indiana estate planning and probate lawyer. And today I'd like to talk about four common mistakes that I see with folks when it comes to their estate plan. But before I get started, if you ever have any questions about a Northwest Indiana estate plan or probate matter, you can always reach out to me at indianastatemeeting.com. We can set up an appointment in person, by phone, or by video conference. So here are the four common mistakes. The first one really has to do with a mindset and really trying to understand your goals and what you're hoping to accomplish uh, with your estate plan. Do you have a disabled spouse? Do you have disabled kids? Do you wanna provide for your grandkids college and education and things along those lines? So the first thing is designing an estate plan without really coming to grips with what your goals are and what you hope to accomplish. The second mistake that I see a lot of times is dealing with certain folks, having the wrong people in your circle, whether it is the wrong CPA or the wrong attorney or the wrong financial planner. You see, in some parlances, uh, financial planners actually go ahead and they get compensation or they're more like salespeople as opposed to fee for service financial planners. So sometimes they will recommend a vehicle for a financial plan that might not really jive with your goals. So that's why the goals are the number one thing. And then you need to discuss your goals and your concerns with your attorney, your CPA, and your financial planner. So if you're not clear with your goals, then they might have and put you in the wrong direction, or sometimes folks will send you in the wrong direction for their own benefit. And the third mistake that sometimes folks made, and that is failing to deal with the whole probate issue. Now, probate is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something that should be discussed. You know, it might be easier if you're just leaving a home or a piece of property to go ahead and go through the probate process because that might be cleaner as opposed to setting up a trust-based plan. So the whole thing is that, again, going back to your goals, not that necessarily probate is bad, but it should be something that you think about before you go ahead and decide whether you're gonna want a will-based estate plan or a trust-based estate plan. And the fourth thing is, is trying to think in the future regarding reasonable contingencies. For instance, you know, what should happen if you lose your mind? Or what should happen if you lose your physical ability to do things? Or what should happen if somebody in the family becomes stricken? Or what should happen if somebody has special needs? You don't have to go like 10 steps down this contingency ladder and try to, you know, cover every potential contingency in your plan, but there are certain contingencies that you have to deal with and that you should deal with. For instance, what happens if you can't make your own decisions? Uh, what happens if you become terminally ill? What happens if you should die a sudden death? Do you have the proper insurance or the proper money there to help support your spouse and your kids and things along those lines? Those are contingencies that happen pretty much every day and should be at least discussed when going into your estate plan. If you have any questions about a Northwest Indiana estate plan, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.